from Manhattan, it's The Cube. Covering AWS Summit New York City 2017. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. And you are watching The Cube along with Stu Miniman, I'm John Walls, we're at the Javits Center here, Midtown Manhattan for the AWS Summit. We're continuing our coverage here live on The Cube, the broadcast outlet of the SiliconANGLE TV platform. And we're joined now by Anuj Dudia, who is a senior manager of product and new business at Verizon. Anuj, good to see you today, sir. Thank you, thanks for having me. You bet, absolutely. Um, now, you have a, a, a partnership uh, in the works with with AWS, I know you had an announcement today of sorts, also adding a little more flavor to that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that announcement and, and the significance of that. Yeah, absolutely. What we've been observing in the industry is our customers, our, our the biggest you know, Fortune 500 customers, uh, you know, enterprises, they're moving their workloads to AWS. So once they're moving their workloads to AWS, they want us to connect to their applications, uh, our networks to connect to their applications in a seamless way. They want to make sure that the, the end user experience, the, the application experience when the applications are in AWS is seamless. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure we instantiate the virtual appliances in AWS so that we are able to give them end-to-end -end connectivity. Um, so we, we, we'll have a, we, we have a service offer which is across the platforms, you know, we have our own private cloud, we have AWS, we have the end uh, CPE devices, but for our customers, they want to have hybrid environment. They want to make sure they're able to connect with each of these business applications with the best user experience. So that's what we are enabling them to do with this, with this uh, service. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if you could help clarify for us, because those of us that have watched for a while, I mean, I remember when Verizon bought Terramark, recently, uh, I, I know you're still working through some of the details, but you know, people come to me and say, oh, you're talking to Verizon, I hear they're selling off all of their data centers. Uh, so, uh, of course, uh, that's kind of the headlines, when you dig into it, you were talking about the hybrid solutions, lots of partners. What is the role of cloud in Verizon, and right, what, what are some of those important sure. solutions you're putting together? Sure, so we have, we have our uh, own offering, and, uh, you know, which is the hosted network services. It's an open stack based platform that we have uh, around the world. But we are not we are not in the business of uh, you know we 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 want to we want the customers to be connected. So we are in the business of networks. So if our customers are moving on to uh, uh, you know a public cloud or a private cloud or their own data centers, we want to enable them to have that end-to-end -end connectivity and make sure they are able to take advantage of the application-aware routing as well as the. Um, uh, you know, transport diversity. So you, so you know, we, we have a product called Secure Cloud Interconnect, or, or Direct Connect in, in AWS terms, which is one of the transports that they'll be used for their high priority applications. And, uh, and internet for another one. So basically, we want to make sure we are able to give them the advantage of different transports, as well as enabling them to have the best experience. So regardless of what deployment they have, to your question, we want to make sure we are their partners in enabling them to do that. Yeah, uh, the open stack solution, I mean, that's really building NFV. So what you care about correct. is delivering services to the end user, correct? Correct, correct. So we do have um, a concept of white boxes or, or generic platforms on the CPE side. So if I'm, a, if I'm an enterprise with 5,000 stores, as an example, I want to deploy these lightweight white boxes around the, uh, you know, around the country and then uh, haul all the traffic to my private data center, to AWS, to other cloud providers, we will be able to do that, and with, 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 with uh, th this partnership, we'll be able to get them closer to their applications within AWS. That's the whole plan of action. Yeah, uh, the, all of the carriers, in, including Verizon, have lots of edge deployments. It's been <laughs> one of the hottest topics. Does that yet fit in with what you're doing with Amazon? Maybe you can, uh, you know, it, what does Edge mean to kind of your business unit, your customers, uh, what's important there? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, as far as Edge is concerned, right, there is a thick edge and there is a thin edge. When you say a thick edge, you want to have all the uh, applications sitting, like network applications, routing, firewall, you name it. Everything to be sitting at the edge. If I'm a bank, I may need that. But if I'm a retailer, I may not. I may say, now I want to have my security applications in the cloud. The cloud could be our you know, private cloud, it could be customer's cloud, or it could be uh, AWS. We will enable to connect those edge devices 
be thicker version or thinner version to the to each of these uh, cloud locations so that it's a seamless connectivity for the uh, enterprises so our our strength is in the virtualization and in the network connectivity but all focused around the network that's our whole uh, you know use case and we want to make sure if a customer walks into our door with these different hybrid deployments we are able to support them without any uh, you know without any exceptions you know, we've talked a lot so far about what what you do or the, or the goals of the mission that you have. Put it on the other side of the fence from a customer expectation and from a customer demand. How has that changed? That's a good question. Uh, so what we've seen is our customers have a lot of options. We, we are not in the business of uh, you know, telling them where their applications should reside, where their business application should reside. Now, if as an organization, if they have decided to move their critical applications to AWS, or have them in their private data centers. So they are coming to us, the customers are coming to us and, and, and telling us, we want, what is our business goal? Our business goal to, is to have, when my employee tries to reach my HR application, it should be seamless. It should not matter, matter whether, whether I host it in my data center, yours, AWS, or on the edge. They don't care. They want to have access to those four top applications or 40 top applications all the time. So we're seeing customers coming in and saying and telling us, we're not asking you where to host the business apps. We have already made a decision. We are going to host it in these four uh, clouds. Um, one of them being definitely being AWS. And we're like, okay, you know, we'll enable you. You just tell us what kind of connectivity you guys need. Mm -hmm. What, where do you want to host it? And with, and with AWS, uh, you know, being their key uh, key data center for uh, hosting their business applications, now we have an automated, orchestrated way. So you have your 5,000 devices with a click of a button, will instantiate something on AWS for you. That way, you're able to connect it to all the way to your business applications seamlessly. So with the demand, going back to your question, the demand that we are seeing is hey, we want to have a variety of uh, uh, you know, deployment models. We don't want to be locked down. We don't want to spend a whole lot on our data centers. We like the AWS solution, so we are going to have um, uh, you know, our business apps hosted at AWS. But at the same time, we want to make sure everything is connected for our users and there is no latency that they experience. Yeah. Uh, customers are still having a lot of challenges about kind of getting their arms around this whole multi-cloud environment and networking a lot of times is kind of networking security and management, you know, sit at kind of the top of, uh, you know, the, the, the challenges there. Um, how, how would you rate how we're doing as an industry, you know, <laughs> how, how, how have we moved the ball forward and what do we still need to do uh, to be able to make this, you know, seamless, you know, manageable, uh, you know, much easier going forward? It's a, it's a great question. We come across these customers all the time, right? They see a bunch of PowerPoint presentations and and uh, and uh, you know advertisements and, and you know all the different forms, and they they think they are able to do that all by themselves and have the cost efficiency. The the key challenge is the the key know-how and connecting it with the whole end-to-end -end network as well as applications. So what we bring to the table is exactly that. So we you know we partner with uh, you know AWS and, and other uh, uh, cloud providers, but AWS being the biggest one, we try to make sure we are, we are, we are you know, get them this fully orchestrated solution. So our whole solution is, uh, we're enabling, in this service, right, we're enabling Cisco and Viptela solution on, on AWS. So our, our whole, whole value prop to them is, you place an order with Verizon, we'll take care of, uh, you know, making sure you're connected to AWS uh, seamlessly, with the appliance of your choice, which in this case happens to be Cisco with Tele Solution, and the network from, uh, reliable network from Verizon, but completely automated and orchestrated. What we've been observing is, customers go down the DIY path, and that's absolutely fair. Sometimes they succeed, but, uh, but most often they come back and say, I don't know how to make it work end to end. I'm able to do this little piece part, I've done my DevOps here, so it, it works, but when I move my production load, I don't know what to do. And that's what we, you know, that's that's the value of this partnership that we are, uh, you know, we're looking to provide that seamless experience to our customers. And, and we've also been talking a lot about enterprise, but that market is opposed to small and, and mid-size. Mm -hmm. I mean, which one do you think's got the wind in its sails right now? I mean, or or are they just is it apples and oranges because they have different concerns and, and different levels, different options? That's 
that, that's an interesting uh, uh, question. They are apples and oranges, at least in my opinion, and, and I'll tell you why. Because the needs for the top you know, Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 companies is very different from a dentist's office or a lawyer's office or, or, or you know, but there is a middle line. The middle line is, what if I'm a coffee shop with 8,000 stores? Am I on this side or that side? Because each of these 8,000 stores are, are uh, like small businesses, if you will, but as a company, I'm a tier one, so I have my own needs from a corporate network standpoint. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure we take advantage of you know uh, uh, our, our partnership with AWS, where we are saying we're able to enable you if you are moving your production workloads anyway. But if you are if you if, if that's something you want to scale, then then probably uh, you know you got to have a hybrid deployment and we we make that happen for you. But sure. to your to your question, right? I do think they're apples and oranges because the needs are very different. Right. The need for the application availability for an enterprise, for a big tier, tier one enterprise, is way higher than, say, a dentist office. If, if an Outlook 365, Office 365 doesn't work for uh, a, a dentist office for an hour, mm, who cares? But if it doesn't work well, just, for a big Just tier. don't let your dentist hear you say that, though, all right? <laughs> be careful. <laughs> you <laughs> all right. bet. All right. Everybody but your dentist, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, Anoush, thanks for being with us. Thank you. We appreciate having. the time. Thank you. Good luck down the road. Thanks. Anoush uh, Dudia from Verizon joining us here on theCUBE. We continue live from New York City, AWS Summit. Back in a bit. <laughs>